I think the federal budget is the most important thing that we have uh, to solve now, but I've always thought it was important, and I really don't know why I thought it was important. That's the weirdest thing that someone at 28 years old would get involved with politics because they're worried about the budget. But in 1984, when I ran, the federal deficit was $338 billion out of a $900 billion budget. And we got a 3.7 trillion now. So it's about 30%. It's about the same. And I have no idea why that bugged me, but <clears throat> it just didn't seem right. And so uh, that's another reason why I decided to run. But the reason why I think it's so important is it's like carbon monoxide poisoning. You could sit in a car all day with the windows open. As soon as you shut the windows, and the carbon monoxide will keep. That's what happens with these budget deficits and the debt and the accumulated interest and the inflation and you know it just slowly just kind of permeates and then it kills and that's what I'm really concerned about and I, since that time I've done a lot of reading about history uh, there's a great book called uh, this time is different I think you read it but it's 800 years of financial folly and they've gone through every nation that used to be a superpower 800 years ago Ming Dynasty Soviet Union United Kingdom, and it's not that they evaporate, they just cease being superpowers, and they cease being generators of great opportunity, and that's what I'm scared about with this situation. So, so I, what I'm trying to do with my blog and when I talk to people is I'm trying to take it a really dry subject. If you look at any budget, you know, accountants, yeah. they're not exciting people, and, um, but I'm trying to take the federal budget and put it in context that someone who doesn't care about it will read it. And that's the reason why I use the Animal House references or music or cartoons or pictures and grab them and then try to write in a language that, uh, what I learned on Capitol Hill is you have to write in a language that an eighth grader will, will understand. So I'm trying to take entitlements and social security reform and how do you, how do, you do that so an eighth grader will say, oh, I get it, I, I, get you, I get your point. So that's part of what I'm trying to do and you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully enough people will start looking at it and agreeing.